it, I hope it's not a lot of noise in the background. I'm gonna put some music, so don't worry about it. Hi, my loves. Okay, so welcome back to my channel. Today we are starting a new series. Well, not a new series, but a series on my uh, YouTube channel. And this series is called First Time, okay? First Times with the S. Um, and I took an account of all the uh, readings that you guys gave me, all the suggestions you guys gave me on my community tab. So if you guys have some more suggestions and you want to see a video with uh, what you want to know about, <laughs> uh, the post is on my community tab. But this one, uh, it, it actually... Um, it actually made a lot of sense so we're going to go through this one uh the first video today is your your next person's personality so the person that you are really really crushing on the new person that's coming into your life or a new energy that's about to start with you and the person that you are involved with okay so this is new this is new so you might have an old person right but niggas change you know people change every day okay um, that's going to go into some new energy and that's going to make your relationship evolve into some new energy. I just saw 111, so I know I'm right. Okay. <clears throat> so, <laughs> so this, uh, is, this, uh, series is about your first time. So today's reading is about your person's personality, your new person that's coming towards you. The next video, I'm not even going to do an order. I am going to do an order, but this is not an order. Um, uh, we're going to do one about your first kiss. We're going to do one about your first sexual encounter which is i'm gonna have to figure that out i'm gonna put it on youtube but i'm probably not gonna leave it up here i'm probably just gonna end up pushing it to my patreon after a couple weeks um we're gonna do one about y'all first day we're gonna do about uh one about how y'all gonna first feel when y'all meet each other we're gonna do just every the relationships first okay and this is gonna be a full series that i am going to do now hold on let me drink some gatorade hold on girl. okay i was eating some fries which is the favorite okay let's see hmm uh do i want to do some boring crystals or shit around my office let's see let's do water bottle because you know water's always good for the body and the soul right we're gonna do some white out just in case we have to wipe some shit out you know what i'm saying um then we're gonna do massage ball because i'm getting old so pick the pound that best resonates with your energy. Make sure you go with your first mind because your first mind is your best mind. And we are going to get... Oh, shit. Fuck. We gonna, we gonna okay, start. before we go on, I have questions on my website, thelovemealways.com. I am on Instagram at QueenSandraXO. I am on Twitter at QSandraXO. I am also on Patreon, which is where all my sexual readings are. Everything you need to know is pretty much in the description box. Please subscribe to my channel hit that notification button and um i talk to you guys hi pal a so we back we back we back we back now don't be mad at your person this person that's coming towards you this new revived energy um don't be mad at them don't be mad at this person and the only reason why i say because you know i, I cuss a nigga out a minute but the only reason why I, don't, I say don't be mad at this person is because this person has been deathly wounded as a child they probably haven't, they probably didn't, they didn't get the love that they, well, I don't know what happened. I don't want to, you know, assume anything. But something happened in their childhood that kind of triggered the energy that they're in now, that destructive energy. This person deep down is a, definitely an artist at heart, though. They are probably um, really detailed in some areas of their life, and they have a very good talent I should say. Um, and this person knows how to express it. This person's a lover at heart, truly. And they might be actually really, really fucking beautiful to you. And might be even really romantic. This person is very This person is very, very all about their possessions, all about their finances, all about their talent talents and their values. Um, and they have that Capricorn energy in them, so they have that King of Pentacles because I did see Virgo as well, but I didn't take it out. It was too many cards. Um, your person has so much potential to be, I know I keep on, don't fall in love with potential, but this person, oh shit, I don't know. <laughs> Do they have potential or are they going after it? No, they're trying to evolve. I think this might be somebody old, I'm going to be honest with you. Because this person has definitely been the energy of, um, being single for a while definitely being single for a while trying to um move on with their life trying to get their life together and probably you guys just have been friends but this person is very sensual 
And I think that they want to keep a piece of you for some reason. Not saying that you ain't the shit and, you know, whatever. But this person definitely wants a piece of you. And doesn't even really want to... They might not want to talk about the issues between you two. This person's a runner. But has unconditional love for you. That's why you guys always come back together. Or you guys always have that attraction to one another. I feel like this person is really in the energy of trying to heal from that childhood wound. Trying to take care. So, yes, if they're, if they're trying, then, yes, go with potential. But if you just see potential and this motherfucker ain't trying, then don't do it, sis. Please don't do it. Save yourself some time, okay? But I think that this person is very ambitious as well. Very rigid and kind of structured. They might be uh, my way is a highway type of person. <laughs> But I, I think that they really just want harmony in their life. They want to be able to control that peace that they have. Uh, this person truly um, is definitely trying to transform and grow. They're trying to clear their taboos. They're trying to get out of their destructive energy. I think that this person might even be in the energy of trying to kill off the old to bring the new, you know. <sighs> but they are running. They do run away from the hard things. They do. But now they're trying to confront it. And trying to get renewed. Trying to get motivated. And they, they might be very, very uh, concerned with the material world and their money. Very, very concerned about their possessions. What else, Lord? What else? I think that's about it. I think your person might even encourage you to grow as well. Yeah. Very. It, it seems like this person's. If I could sum it up, it seems like your person has been through a whole lot in their past, and now they're in the energy of like, I'm tired of that old destructive energy. I'm gonna focus myself on my art, on my money, on my possessions, and get that together. And I think they're trying to grow into being a better person. So I don't really have anything else to say to you, pal. A. Uh, your reading was lovely. Uh, the next reading is how are they going to be when you first meet them? First time edition. So or when you guys first meet each other, however I'm going to word it. But this is nice. Your person, this might be somebody old. I'm sorry. <laughs> this might be somebody old, but they're trying to come back renewed. So that's always a beautiful thing. It even sends relationship evolving into the next phase. Healing the inner child. This person is really trying to get his, his or her shit together. So if this made any type of sense, pal A, please let me know, honey, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Oh, pal B. So just right off the bat, I'm going to just tell you your person wants to have sex with you. And it might be sexually filled. Okay, let's get into this. <clears throat> you might meet this person through a circle of friends or this person might be in your circle of friends. I think this person might be kind of overwhelming to you. And you might, <laughs> they might be overwhelming because they're in your dreams. <laughs> um, or you're having your daydreaming about somebody who is going to be like, uh, when you get them because it's saying that somebody's praying too. Somebody's praying for this. Uh, there might be some confusion regarding some type of situation, like some, some type of energy with this. Maybe confusion when you meet this person, not sure if they are the right person for you or not. Maybe somebody's confused about their feelings. There's just going to be a little bit of confusion in there. Um, let's see. So we have the signs of Pisces, Leo, Gemini. We have Scorpio. And oh, yeah. When they, then when I saw the Scorpio, I automatically felt very sexual. So I had to put on my sexual cards. And yes. And then this card came out. Yes, ma'am. This is going to be very sexual. Okay, you guys. I'm back a couple of hours later. I had to spend time with my father. That's who buzzed the door. Okay. Okay, so my, I rewatched my last video that I was uh, talking to you guys. And yes, this is very sexually charged or playful reading. Okay, so my sex deck. So <laughs> your person. Well, let's not go out sex. Let me get let let's be let me work y'all into sex. Let me work myself back into it. Um, one second. <coughs> I think that this relationship is going to have a struggle of power. So one minute you're probably going to feel very empowered, and the next minute this person is going to feel very empowered in this relationship because this person is a leader and you may as well be a leader and someone who has her own voice his or her own voice as well as your person 
Uh, I believe that your person has really strong beliefs. And I believe that they actually are a good communicator. <clears throat> and I also believe that this relationship is going to be very playful. So you guys are going to really enjoy each other. It's going to be very sexually charged. <laughs> uh, and I feel like this person is going to help you to be able to view life differently. <clears throat> I wanted to get another card real quick. No, okay, okay. Uh, let's see what's else. I feel like this person is a traveler. Like, this person goes on, like, uh, maybe they have some type of Sagittarius energy where they're travelers and they're uh, seekers of knowledge, seekers of the world. What else? What else, spirits? Your person is very charming. But also, your person is kind of a all about them type of person. <clears throat> uh, very, uh, very charming very charming and probably entitled a little bit uh i do feel like your person has some type of baggage from the past that they're still holding on to but i do feel like this person loves to uh debate loves to not debate in a negative way but like loves to do banter love to talk uh loves to have conversation they have that gemini in them um but this person also has two sides of them as well so just be careful what else? Stay optimistic about their love life. They have positive thinking about love, so they know what a structured love life is supposed to look like. Uh, this person uh, may have a problem with opening their heart, but I think they're. I think this person is ready for love. And I feel like you guys are going to really enjoy each other. Now, sexually, I, I feel like this person is going to get excited when you dress up and wear nice clothes for them, wear nice lingerie, and and you look sexy. Uh, I feel like this person is going to enjoy enjoy your body. Like, they're going to love everything about you. Everything about you. Everything about your body. And I think they're going to even want to worship you a little bit. And your pussy, like, your, your pussy or your dick. Uh, whatever you, like, your sex is going to make this person want to commit. Make this person want to come back around. But your person truly is, truly, truly is a leader. Uh... This is why I always like a whole bunch of cards because I read them all and I'll be like, okay, what's next? <laughs> oh, wait, actually, what is next? Uh, I feel like you, this, this might be your actual boyfriend or your girlfriend. This is going to be an actually committed relationship. Tell me more about this person's personality. Pal B, tell me more about Pal B's relationship spirit. Yeah, something about friends. You got the left in the house again. Friendship, group activities, common goals. So, and the future. This is also of the future. So, I think that your person is definitely going to be in your life for a long time. Uh, let's see. Strength enhances. Huh. Combines. Join forces. Okay. Aquarius and six health. Your person takes care of themselves. Uh, they have a very healthy, like this person is trying to get healthy. This person is trying to stay on board with, you know, their goals for 2021. This person is very futuristic. So it seems like it's a lot of energy of the future with this one. It seems like this person is constantly looking for uh, what to do next. They're probably into their future, trying to plan a brighter future. Always thinking about what's their next step. I think this person is very, very self-controlled as well. What else? Tell me more about this person's Palby's personality. Palby's person's person. Liberator. Ooh. A teacher. The ability, yeah, they have the ability to communicate. There's something about their communication skills is it's off the chain. It's everything. Uh freeing yourself. Maybe this person has uh, the gift of gab too. Freeing yourself and others from outmoded beliefs. Samaritan, where is the other one at? Where did you go, honey? Oh, shit. Oh. Huh. 
Okay, 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 okay. I like your person. I'm gonna sum your person up. Your person has some baggage from the past, but your person is very, very sexual. Uh, this person is a leader. This person um, is an advocate for those who can't talk for themselves. Uh, your person is very optimistic about love, but they do have the baggage. And you guys will enjoy this person because this person is very playful. This person can communicate like a motherfucker. So y'all going to have deep conversations. They're going to be able to tell you how they feel about everything. And I also feel like this person is a traveler. Like they've probably been around a couple of places. Uh, either this person is going to be a really, really good friend to you, which I doubt. I think this person is going to be your partner. Or you're going to like have a really close friendship with this person or you're going to meet them through a circle of friends uh you might start off this manifestation with this person because it says a lot of prayer energy because of this might be your dream person i feel like this person is very liberal very uh a liberators a teacher someone who is uh, just all around uh trying to free people from outdated bullshit like i do like you know you don't have to live in the past live in the future this might be me <laughs> um Okay, uh, let's see, what was that? Hey, I lost my train of thought. Anyways, this person is very dedicated to themselves, very dedicated to their craft, and they are kind of, they got some narcissistic energy in them, sounds like me, yes. Uh, this person is going to stick around and probably even notice you because of your sex, <laughs> which is sad, but it is definitely a true thing. Uh, what else? What else? What else? And this person is very youthful at heart. Like this person is always going to be ha be a really good time. Okay. Yeah, they want to do nasty things to you. Okay, so if this made any type of sense, Pal B, please let me know, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Hi, Pal C. So I have a lot of cards for you guys. So I'm going to pan over so you guys can just get a good look at them. Okay. So to our corner over here because i don't know if this is your left or this will be your right it's a re reconciliation you deserve love at the top of it, we got some more cards on the side of it, we got some more and the bottom okay so we got it right <clears throat> you ready for this shit y'all <laughs> i think your person wants to come back around to be your boyfriend or they want to be your girlfriend or they just really want to come back and make the effort tell you the truth I think that your person is coming back to be loyal, to be your companion. <sighs> your person sees themselves as a god and sees you as a goddess. <laughs> uh, your person, yeah, they're kind of self-absorbed, just just a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, but there's been so much thinking about you, and I also believe there's also some manifestational energy in there as well. Um. I think you guys probably took some time apart to get your minds together. Uh, a lot of time was needed to think. And now you guys kind of want to, I think both of you guys want to kind of, want to kind of, that don't make sense. You guys want to kind of get back out there. Uh, I feel the reconcil reconciliational energy. Well, let's go to who this person is. It's just talking about the relationship. Um... Your person is very smart. I, I feel like your person is, a, a, is definitely a student. Uh, I feel like your person can solve uh, pretty much any problem. And I really feel like they they have the energy of being able to blend in to any environment, solve any problem, use their mind very wisely. Uh, your person has a lot of knowledge. And I don't know if this person has ever communicated with that, communicated that with you, but they're they're very smart. Uh, your person is definitely a communicator, though. <laughs> so they might have communicated all that smart, but I don't know. But your person has the ability to be able to see the potential in all things. And even though this person is coming back for good things, Spirit is also telling me to tell you to be cautious with it. Just just take it one day at a time because this person still has a lot of baggage that they're holding on to. Uh, they still need to heal even though they've been trying this person still has toxic energy in them from previous relationships I feel like your person wants to come around and definitely be a part of your life again and it says look I'm coming back over here I'm coming back let's get married and I wish we could start over because you drive me crazy your, per your person has a uh, codependency uh, issues so they might be codependent on you and that's why I feel like the time apart was kind of needed because this person needed to see that they actually did need you, actually do want you. 
now they want to come around and make the effort because they feel like this is definitely a total connection for them. And they've been thinking about it. Definitely. So you guys might end up even going on a date. Persons and the energy of wishing that things would be different. Things could be different. So now they want to reconsole because they feel like you deserve them. Because this person does feel like they're a god. But they also feel like you're a goddess. So, And they're also very attracted to your sensual nature. Now, this person is of loyalty. Like, this person definitely knows what it means to be in a companion. Uh, they definitely know what it means to be in a healthy relationship and how to be unselfish. It's just sometimes when we've been hurt, you know, shit happens. Um, anything else? Who is this person that's coming towards them? First time addition. Let's get some tarot. Let's get some tallows. I don't know what that was. Let's get some tarot. So for Pal A. I mean Pal A. Pal C. Ooh, okay. The Hermit. Somebody who is probably very quiet. Uh, this person can communicate, yes, but this person probably holds a lot of things and or or they take a lot of time to themselves just to get their mind together. That's what I, I think that's what I said before. This person is very um <laughs> this person is very fiery. So they might have a lot of inspirational ideas. They might like to go after a lot of things. They might like to um that person's dealing with a lot of heartbreak still. That's a lot of pain in them. But your person is like, uh, maybe they like, uh, maybe they're doing different business opportunities. Or maybe they're just really going after their passions. I think this is, like, these two cards are very dark. This is probably the only thing that illuminates their life is their passion. Page of Wands is new, exciting ideas. Tell me about this person, Spirit. Who is this person? Uh, us an obsessor somebody who's obsessive but I also said that they're codependent so that's kind of yeah this might have been like a friends with benefits situation but a soulmate with benefits uh, I feel like this person has hope I feel like you guys have hope, have hope or I feel like there is hope there uh, your person when they come around I think they're going to commit way more than they used to that's why I said I feel like they want to be your boyfriend or your girlfriend or they might want to get out of that three of cups energy because you have it twice. So they must have been like a really, really good friend that you was probably fucking on. Which is cool, you know. Look, I got a couple of them. So, um, <laughs> I was about to say, uh, I, I, I'm curious about that, that star card, though. I'm very curious about that star card. So explain to me, Spirit. What does that star card mean? Explain to me, Spirit. Make it plain. What is the star? Okay. Having strength, longevity, little anxiety though, little anxiety, needing to take it day by day, have make it playful, try to get your life in balance. You're seen as the empress and, okay. Oh, okay, okay, I'm just going to sum this up. Uh, Spirit is saying you are the empress, do not move, do not move because a king of swords is coming after you. He feels the con he or she feels that connection, and I feel like they're kind of ready. Look, especially since uh, uh, that's upside down, I feel like they're kind of ready to take over this relationship. This moon card, though, what's that mean, spirit? Oh, okay. This oh, there it is. There it is. The Eight of Pentacles, making it work. I, I was just about to say this person is going to make an effort towards them. It's a lot of things that the pal C can't see. Or a lot of things that they just can't feel right now about the connection that is going to be beneficial. Because this person wants it now. They feel like you deserve it now. Which is fucked up to say. Because you've always deserved it. But it, it's like now they're ready. There you go. That's beautiful. That's better to say. Now, that, now they're ready. They're ready for this now. But they also feel like you deserve them. Because they also feel like they're a god. <laughs> and they kind of are not statistic, you know, self-absorbed. So 
if this made any type of sense, uh, I'm sorry if this is somebody that you don't want back. Just say no. You know, no means no complete sentence. And, uh, yeah, let me know what y'all think about this. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.